All right, so this is another example of using Easy PLC's machine imp simulator, and we're gonna be using this with an OPC topic talking to Studio 5000 version 31. So I will show you the whole setup of that, but when it comes down to it, I already have my driver started, so we are looking at a pre-configured driver so that we can save ourselves some time. With this said, um, if you want to see how we set up the OPG, OPC driver, you can look at the other videos we did in the playlist and they will show you exactly how to set that up. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit the start button right here. They do have a start button on the cabinet over here, but we're going to go ahead and hit it from here. So that way it can save us a little bit of time and we can start seeing the process working as it should. Now all the big boxes that come in, when they come down here, they should go to the left hand side. All the small boxes should go to the right hand side they'll go over here so as you see this is coming in now it's coming the big box should come in the, the rate the the chain should raise right now when they raise they take it to the left and then when the next one comes in it's going to be a small box and then it's going to raise and go to the right hand side so as this points this is showing how the system fully works and shows you how to actually integrate the system now again, it's a, all this is, is just another example of the challenges that you can actually program and the, the examples that you can actually do to make yourself more efficient with programming. You can see the whole program is loaded over here. It is currently working off of just a, basically I'm doing this off one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, 11 rungs of, of actual code. So as far as this goes, this is actually running off 11 rungs of code and it is running efficiently. So with that said, let me just go ahead and give you the personal view. So we're going to go to take it to a personal view and we're going to come in here and find out where we're at. At this point, we're right here. We can see that everything. So I'm going to go over to the panel. I'm going to basically I'm using my up arrow key and I'm going to go to my panel and then right here. So I'm going to exit real quick and then I'm going to hit the stop button to show you that this does stop. So everything f does fully work off the start push button station, start stops and everything like that. Everything is working fluently exactly like it should be designed. Again, that's a small box. It should come over here to the left hand side now. And then another small box should go to the left hand side as well. The big box is coming in. will go to the right hand side because we've now changed our orientation to this. You can also go to fly mode um, or to view the whole thing as it's running right now we're in a tour view now so we're kind of in a tour view and you can see exactly what that's working like so again when it comes down to it I wanted to give you another example of seeing an overview of how you're actually using the easy PLC machine simulator right so with this said there I mean the sky is the limit with the stuff you can program the stuff you can do and as you can program it you can learn different ways and different patterns of how to actually do that now you see this is working fluently. This is working exactly how it was designed. So we're going to come back here when just watch it from here for this instance. So you can click in and out of the, your your zones as far as you know personal zone or your, your fly zone, or you can actually come in in like a trip zone or whatever the case may be. So with that said, I just want to give you another prime example of how to use this software. We're going to actually exit this one. So I'm going to I'm going to actually stop the push button. I'm going to stop it in place. I'm going to let this one carry out. Actually, let's let this one finish out. And as it finishes out, we're going to let it finish and then we're going to exit the, the actual program. So we'll exit. And I'm going to show you the rest of these actual um, simulation, uh, simulations you can actually do. So we go to machines. Again, we've done the very simple example. We've done the, the easy transfer line. And now we've actually done a zero two chain conveyor uh, and we've done also the engine loading. So the engine loading again was uh, the robot in loading the engines. We've showed you how to do that. So we've done one, two, three, four examples so far. And these two, I showed you how to set up the OPC. This one, I'm at, again, I'm actually showing you how to use the pre-configuration to save yourself some time and then come down and start programming. Again, when that comes down to it, this robot, I did the exact same thing on that. Just want to show you around on how to do things. Again, this is a very versatile tool. Uh, you can edit your own, make your own. Uh, own machines or you can use some of the pre-configured ones that you have down here. There's a ton of stuff you can do. 
And again, this stuff works really, really well with all major brands of PLC software. So using an OPC topic, tying everything together. This is just one part of, again, the whole easy PLC software suite. So I wanted to invite you and show you another case example of one running. And again, I do plan on doing a lot more tutorials on this because again, I do believe for one, it's a challenge for me. For two, it's it's actually a good thing to show you because it again, invites you to a challenge and you for you to program each one of these segments and actually challenge yourself to, you know, and better yourself in the whole process. That's why we're all here, right? And I believe every, everybody that follows me is a like-minded person. They want to excel at what they're doing. They're looking to grow and, and better themselves every single day. I have a motto. It is to better myself be a better version of myself tomorrow than I am today and that requires going after and facing all the stuff that you know like a challenge every single day sometimes you know you're going to face times where you you have to figure stuff out right and that's that's and when you get it done it's just that more effective so with that said I wanted to show you another example of easy PLC and again the code is still running uh, even though we're not running so the goat the code is still over here and that is exactly what we are showing it that you know how to tie all this stuff together so with that said we'll see you guys on the next one